Hi everyone, this is Dr. Pura Voike and in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to do a chemical peel at home. So chemical exfoliation is a great way to remove dead skin cell layers from the skin. Regular chemical exfoliation can also help in reducing dark spots. It also helps in preventing early signs of aging and provides a glow to the skin. Now there are many over-the-counter chemical exfoliants which are available in the market. So there are leave-on chemical exfoliants as well as there are wash-off chemical exfoliants. Now leave-on ones are low strength acids which you can use once or twice a week in your PM skincare routine and you can leave it overnight. Whereas wash-off chemical exfoliants have higher percentage of acid in it which needs to be applied only 5 to 10 minutes on your skin and then it needs to be washed off it can be used only once a week now these chemical exfoliants contains variety of active ingredients in it for example glycolic acid lactic acid mandelic acid salicylic acid etc so these alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acid helps in removing dead skin cell layers without being very harsh on the skin but one thing you have to keep in mind is that if you have a very sensitive or irritated or inflamed skin avoid doing chemical peels at home also if you're a beginner always start with low strength peels and for higher strengths I would highly recommend that you consult your dermatologist and go for chemical peels at the clinic. Now let's start with how I do chemical peel at home. So the first step is face wash. Now washing your face with a gentle face wash before any chemical peel will help in removing any kind of excess oil, dirt or grime from your skin. So your skin needs to be completely clean before applying the chemical exfoliant on your skin. So you can try out any kind of gentle or mild face wash for your skin. You can also go for double cleansing that is using an oil cleanser first then going for a foam based cleanser. Use gentle circular motion to wash your face nicely and then pat it completely dry. Now make sure that after washing your face your skin is completely dry because chemical exfoliants should not be applied on damp skin as applying chemical exfoliant on damp skin can cause irritation of the skin. Once your face is completely dry then you have to secure the corner of your eyes, nose as well as mouth with a petroleum jelly because these are sensitive areas and we do not want to irritate it. So I'll just take some petroleum jelly and apply it on the corners of my eyes, nose as well as mouth in order to protect these delicate areas. Now comes the third step that is using a chemical exfoliant. So for my skin, I'm using this 15% AHA as well as 1% BHA peeling solution by the Dermaco. It has 5% glycolic acid, 5% lactic acid, 5% mandelic acid as well as 1% salicylic acid. Now glycolic acid, lactic acid as well as mandelic acid are AHAs or alpha hydroxy acids. Now glycolic acid has the smallest size and it penetrates deep into the skin, whereas lactic acid and mandelic acid are more gentle forms of AHAs. This peel also contains 1% salicylic acid. The salicylic acid has keratolytic properties which help in unclogging pores and remove dead skin cell layers from the skin. It also helps in preventing mild forms of acne. Whereas glycolic acid, lactic acid and mandelic acid provides a beautiful glow to the skin as well as reduces dark spots. Glycolic acid also helps in boosting collagen production in the skin. So I'll take an adequate amount of this chemical peel and apply an even layer on my skin. Just remember to avoid the eye as well as mouth area. Now once I've applied the chemical peel on my skin, it gives a mild tingling sensation on the skin. So I'll keep this peel for 5 to 10 minutes, not more than that. And if you're a beginner, you can keep the peel for 5 to 8 minutes and then wash it off with cold water. Now once the timer is over, I just wash my face with cold water and then pat it dry. After using chemical peel on my skin, my skin appears really smooth. But here comes the important part that you have to protect your skin and retain the moisture level. So for my skin, I use a ceramide based moisturizer without any active because I've already used a chemical peel. So I don't want to use any other kind of active ingredients in my skincare routine that night. So I use a ceramide based moisturizer because ceramides are a great way to improve the skin's barrier. So this will calm and protect my skin. Whenever you're using any kind of chemical peel or active ingredients in your skincare routine, you have to apply a good broad spectrum sunscreen in the morning in order to to prevent UV damage. So I love to use this Dermaco's 1% Hyaluronic Sunscreen Aqua Gel which has SPF 50 and PA4+. Plus. It provides both UVA as well as UVB protection. Whenever you are trying out any kind of new product, a patch test is highly recommended. You can purchase these products from Dermaco's official website and you can use my coupon code PUNAM2023 for getting flat 20% off. These products are also available at Amazon, Flipkart as well as Nykaa. The Dermaco has empowered 10,000 plus students this year with their Young Scientist Initiative. Every time you buy from them, they will link it order to a child that they help to educate along with Bhumi. So this is all for today. Hope you like the video. If you want to see more videos like this, do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. You can also connect with me on Instagram. See you in the next video. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.